Hi gorgeous! Today I'm showing you a sparkly party look. This is a smoky eye with a lot of glitter. Perfect for New Year's Eve coming up or any special occasion where you really want the eyes to pop. I'm also going to be showing you my complete outfit that I'm planning to wear for New Year's Eve. To start with this look, I'm applying a primer, of course. We're applying this onto the lid, and then I'm also applying this underneath the eye since I plan to have some product underneath there too. And then I'm prepping my lid with my blending shade. This is Max Blanc Type. Then I'm taking Salted Caramel from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and applying this into the crease. A cheaper dupe of this would be Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. You could also use something like Max Bamboo here too. And then I'm going back with Blanc Type and blending out the harsher edges. Next eyeshadow is Max Typographic. And this is best described as a grayish black. I wouldn't describe it as a deep, dark black. And that's probably one of the reasons why I love it so much. It's great for smoky eye looks because it's not too dark. It's still a little on the lighter side. If you don't have this eyeshadow on hand, you can also create this kind of a look with a black eyeshadow. The trick to create that light effect like we have here would be to apply it with a fluffy brush. The fluffier the brush, the better, and that will give you a lighter application so it doesn't turn into raccoon eyes and look too dark. And to blend typographic into salted caramel a little bit more, I'm going back with semi-sweet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and using this in between the two eyeshadows. And then I'm taking Salted Caramel and I'm also using it the same way as I use Semi Sweet to blend these two colors together. To add a little bit of definition to the eyes, I'm going back with more typographic and applying a little bit into the outer V with a pointed crease brush. I'm taking a black eyeliner from Rimmel Scandal Eyes and using this to tight line the upper waterline and I'm also lining the lower waterline with this too. I'm also taking this pencil and drawing tiny dots on the lower lash line and then I'm going over that with a smudger brush and salted caramel and blending the dots with salted caramel on the lower lash line and this creates more of a grayish brown look. For our glitter, we are using Makeup Geek's Utopia pigment. It's not really a glitter per se, but it is a glitter packed pigment. This is gorgeous. I am applying it wet. What I did was I took a little bit of the pigment, applied it onto the MAC 239 brush, spritzed it with some of the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, and then I applied it onto the lid. And to complete my eyes, I'm using Inglot's number 77 gel liner. This is probably one of the best discoveries I had in terms of beauty in 2014. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. Perfect for a night when you wanna go out and party. And to complete my eyes, I'm using a pair of new lashes from Inky Minky. These are in the style feline and they are so fias. I really want a lot of emphasis on my lower lashes too, so I'm adding some Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara there. Whew, I love this stuff. For my face, I'm starting off with a little bit of color correction. Since I'm so fair, I get those blue marks underneath my eyes. So I'm using a salmon concealer to correct that. And because I plan to dance the night away with my sexy hubby, I'm using a primer from Makeup Forever. This is their HD primer. Then I'm going back with my regular concealer and applying this over the salmon concealer to help lighten it up and to help blend it into my under eye area a little bit better. And my foundation is from Lancome. This is the Tate Idol Foundation number 110 Ivory N, I believe. My most favorite foundation ever. I live for this stuff. And to set my face, I'm using a powder puff from MAC and a translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And when you do your powder like this, it helps the face to stay matte for a lot longer than if you had just used a brush to apply the powder. Doing a little bit of contour with a sample from Bare Minerals in the Skinny Dip. And this is a brush that I picked up from Ulta. It was free. Can't say no to free. I'm also applying a little bit of bronzer down the sides of my nose. For my cheeks, I'm using Max Breezy, I think. Yeah, I'm just too tired to go in the other room to look at what it was right now. <laughs> so 
If it's different, I will have it listed for you down below, but it's a really beautiful rosy color. It provides a really beautiful flush on the cheeks. And my highlighter comes from the Sephora Pantone Color of the Year palette, and I'm applying this lightly onto the tops of the cheeks and also down the bridge of the nose. And for my lips, I wanted to stay nude since I plan on doing a lot of kissing tonight, you know. <laughs> I am going with Jordana's lip liner in Tawny and I'm filling them in with Max Creme de Nude. And that's your completed look. How gorgeous is that? Oh, it's so pretty. I swear I'm not gonna wanna wash my makeup off tonight. I'm just not. And these beautiful bracelets are from BB. I recently picked these up, so they are in stores right now at the time that this video is being published. They go beautifully with this outfit. I'm also adding in some studded earrings from BB. These have a chain link detail over a beautiful quartz-like diamond, I guess that's what you would call it. To top this whole outfit off, I'm wearing my gold snake adorned high heels and I love these shoes. I've had them for so many years, I can't even remember where I picked them up, but they are so pretty in this look. My New Year's Eve dress also comes from BB and I am madly in love with this green lace overlay sheath dress. It has the most beautiful zipper detail on the back and it is simply stunning to die for. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve and a very happy New Year to every single one of you. I hope this look has helped inspire your look for New Year's and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in 2015.